Hello everyone, we're back in the booth. That means we're taking another break from uh, that hundred box and we're gonna do a dead box video. All right, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife Angelique. Uh, together, we're the Deegans. Oh, that's the name of our closet, and there's a link to it below in case you forget. All right, now I think I'll wait till the very end to do this piece. Oh, whoops, this piece. <laughs> it's backwards. Um, they, they switched it on me. They switched it. Anyway, um. I'm gonna talk about these first. So, these are a pair of Levi's uh, Denison. Um, they're totally shaping. Now, they say they're a size 14, but they're fitting, as you can see, they're fitting on the mannequin, which, if you watch my videos, you know that this is a 28, 29, 30. I'm gonna tighten her up at the bottom there. I don't want her to slip. There we go. Like I say, this is a 29, 28, 29, 30 um, pants normally. So since these are 14, um, they're definitely a vanity size. Uh, but you can see just, um, you can see how these look. Um, I have a couple other pairs of pants, so you can compare those. Actually, you can do that right now um, with this pair of Wranglers, now, which I'll hold over here so you can see. You can see can't see the difference. I can get out of the way. There. Here, I'll just scoot her up and get the really bad lighting there. But so there, you can see the difference between mannequin and just hanging. Um, now these Wranglers, um, I actually picked them up. I was going to pick them up for myself, and uh, when I got home, I realized that they were a bit too big for me. So I uh, they ended up going in the resale. Ended up going in our reselling. Um, and then they got reshot. Um, again, there's just better lighting in the box. Um, so, better lighting, the background's a lot cleaner, so everything I shoot in here looks nicer than when I was hanging it up on the, uh, just hanging it up on the wall with the little trifold behind it. Yeah, it's just not, not as good. All right, up here we have a Nike Pro Combat Durfit, and this is this particular Durfit is a Livestrong, and it's a large. You know, this might fit me. So, you know, if this doesn't sell, it's probably going to become mine. And we are getting right into the time of the year when I would start wearing this. So. I might just tell my wife not to list that. I can start wearing it around the house. Because right now, nobody's going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm shooting this in early April, so... I think I've said that in the last couple of videos I've shot, so... I shoot a couple all in one day, and then... Put them out as needed. Okay. Up next, this one's missing a tag, but it is Under Armour, and again, um, especially with these, with that last one, with this one, the Under Armour, the Nike, the stuff that's really meant to stretch and be, um, be the kind of workout gear, it really looks a lot better if you have a mannequin in it, as do most pieces. There's not really a whole lot that looks better on a hanger than on a mannequin, so that is why we reshot a lot of these um, in the lighting booth with the mannequin. Um, over here. Yeah, I, it's so confusing. Um, I'll have to change my camera setting so that it shows me it flipped. Okay, up next we have an Alexa. Wait, Alex? Al X. Alex. Actually, I think that's the same as the new Half Life game that came out. Anyway, um, this dress, you know, I'm looking at this. And I don't know if this was a reshoot or if this was in a 
reseller box that just got mixed in by mistake. Whoops. Anyway, um, I do remember this dress in particular because I learned what this zipper on the side is for. So uh, when I went to go put it on the mannequin, um, it wouldn't quite go down on there. I was a little confused because it's, you know, it's a size four. And I've gotten size fours on the ma on the mannequin before, but then I realized you unzip it and it just widens it out so you can get over the chest and boom, that's how it works. So I learned something new thanks to this dress with the button up collar and the white bottom. Yeah, I do not know why we would have reshot that. Um, so this, you know, this may have not actually belonged in this box. Whoops. Okay. Up next is a pair of two pepper jean shorts. Um, now these, uh, these, you know, my wife did, really did not think would sell. Um, but when we started shooting stuff, in the light booth, stuff that she thought would not sell started selling. So we decided to take anything. And um, if it wasn't in attention, just to reshoot it. And so that's how we ended up, that's how I ended up with all this box and these fun little videos to make. All right, up next we have a Baba size 34. Um, this is made, I believe this is made in India. Um, I'd have to find the tag. Um, yeah. Yep, made in India, um, medium to hot ironing, 100% pure cotton, yeah. And so this is just another shirt that um, looks a lot better on the uh, mannequin. I think it is because when it was hanging up, um, yeah, it's really, it's with this uh, tied with this little tie they have in the front, it just made it really hard to, um, just didn't really show really nice on the hanger, so that's why we ended up reshooting it in the light box with the mannequin. Oh. Moving right along. Moving right along, we have a button, button up, button up shirt. Uh, this is a Polo Jeans Company, uh, medium. And, hmm, despite its color, this is in fact a men's shirt. Um, as you can see, the buttons are on the right, so that means it's a men's shirt. And it does have, does have an extra button around the collar. Um, I guess that's be a spare. Alright, um, yeah. No, I think, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why we reached out this one either. Um, probably just another thing that wasn't getting a whole lot of uh, interest. So we uh, we re hmm, we just reshot it. Okay, uh, we only got yeah, two more pieces in here, and then I can get on to this one. Okay. Up next, we have a Springfield Custom Fit Medium. Uh, this is another men's shirt. So, as with all the men's shirts, um, if these don't sell, be sure to watch my future videos to see me wearing them. Um, and this one is a um, Mexican, well it's a medium in Europe, UK, yada yada. It's a 38 in Mexico, um, one, 175 in, is that Canada? That might be the uh, that might be the measurement in centimeters. That would be big. Eh, I'm not sure what that number means. Anyway, this is a custom fit, so it likely all these numbers are the measurements across different parts of the shirt. Um, but it's a nice shirt, so I don't know why. I think uh, you know we really don't do very well with the men's clothing. Um, so we tend not to get a lot of it, and Poshmark really is not a men's clothing platform. So a lot of the men's stuff I haven't had interest in it, and my wife ends up um, she ends up just giving it to me, and then I wear it, and uh, she gets upset because I kind of strut around in it because I look good. All right, <laughs> 
on that note, this brings us to the last piece that's in the box. Um, and this is an investments size eight. And I have to remember that you can't see the tags in these. The lighting's just not good and the camera's a little bit too far back. Um, anyway, this is a blazer. Um, the buttons are on the left, so this is in fact a woman's shirt. Um, if you couldn't tell by the uh, neckline. Um, and um, it does have these, I believe these are fake pockets in the front, although they might just be sewn shut pockets. Let me look on the inside and see if I can figure this out. No idea, because they're, if they're, if they are in fact, oh, they are real pockets. They're just sewn shut, um, which isn't unusual for uh, business wear. Because, um, you know, most, no, no one really keeps anything in these pockets. Um, they're, they're, they're really just there for show. Um, but this is another, just another piece that took pictures of it, didn't have a whole lot of interest in it. Um, and now, now we're, uh, we reshot it in here, so hopefully, hopefully it'll do better the second time around. Uh, there, uh, all right. Sorry, I was just thinking of that old show, Step by Step, um, the theme song to that, um, which I will not sing because I'm pretty sure there's copyright things. Anyway, lastly, we have this Zara dress. Now, this red Zara dress, for the longest time, my wife, when I was doing reshoots, my wife kept saying, did you reshoot the red Zara dress? Did you reshoot the red Zara dress? I kept saying, I I don't know what you're talking about. I couldn't, it wasn't in any of the reshoot boxes. Um, so it actually was in our, I actually eventually did find it. It was at the very bottom of our dead box. Um, I found it while we were looking for a piece that had mistakenly been put in the reshoot box, but was listed. So it wasn't in any of the normal inventory. I had a hard time finding it. Um, and I found this and when I brought it out, when I brought it up to her, actually first I reshot it. Um, first I reshot it and then the way what I do, I'll come down um, in the basement where we have all of our all of our resh all of our reseller um, stuff is in the basement. So I'll come down here at night. Um, she'll go. She'll be upstairs with the kids, um, make sure they're okay, watching TV and just listing items. Normally the stuff I've shot the night before, and I'll be down here. Um, I'll crank on. I'll crank on some music. Um, Normally some, normally some Motorhead or some Sabbath or something, and um, I'll just shoot, shoot, shoot. And I found this dress. I shot it, brought it up to her. She flipped her lid. She thinks this will do very, very well now that we finally reshot it. Um, she thinks it would have done well if we had listed it the first time, but for some reason we didn't. Um, possibly because it didn't look nice when we shot it, or possibly because we just never got around to shooting it. Anyway, um, Zara is a very good brand. Um, we've been getting a lot of Zara lately. Um, the 100 box, uh, which I mentioned, um, had a lot of Zara in it, and um, we've been getting some reseller boxes that have had some Zara in it, and, you know, it's, we list it, and it's been selling pretty good. Um, normally, about every other thing Zara we've listed has sold, so doing very well with Zara, very happy to find this, and it just looks so much nicer. I mean, it's a little wrinkly because I had it in the, um, had it in the box. I probably need to steam it out again. Um, but as you can see, it looks, it looks really nice on the mannequin. So, um, that, uh, I don't, I don't know what else I can say. Um, it's a really nice dress. All right, that brings us to the end. Now, my thoughts, I'm really, I'm really glad we got these two ladies. Um, they are, they're really helping us make a lot of these pictures. They're really helping me take a lot of better pictures. And this booth, um, it's, uh, it saved me a lot of time. Um, it just kind of sits in the basement, so I don't have to, don't have to set up, don't have to take it down um, when I want to shoot. And um, because it kind of is, kind of holds everything off to the side, I can just get right in and just... <laughs> that'll be, that'll be nice. <laughs> I can just get right in and just really quickly just
put stuff on the mannequin, shoot, put stuff on the mannequin, shoot, and just really fast. It takes me about, it takes me about three to five minutes to shoot something, um, depending on, depending on how well it goes on the mannequin. Uh, obviously the legs, legs take me a little bit longer because I do have to take, take them off the stand and put them on, but, um, skirts, skirts are the fastest thing I can shoot. Those, I can shoot those in probably one minute. I just, yep. And with the lighting, I don't have to adjust anything. Everything looks really nice. Um, really looks nice. I don't have to worry about angles too much either. Um, because yeah, I just can, I just can kind of, well, it's always white in the background. I don't have to worry about walls. I mean, these things get edited out when my wife um, does the little bit of editing that she occasionally has to do, but she doesn't have to do any brightening on it or anything, so it all looks nice. All right, that's enough rambling. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All that stuff is below. Um, until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you. And I can hit the camera from far away because I finally found my remote. Oh, is it going to work? Maybe.